Hello, my name is Craig and welcome to another edition of the Soccer Stars Archive blog. Uh, the purpose of this blog is basically to go over the kits that Soccer Stars are using for the 2016-17 collection. There's been quite a big change into the kits that have been used. Um, basically, a lot of them have been shifted over to what Soccer Stars are referring to as a classic kit. Uh, essentially, what the classic kit is, is a stripped back version and the most recognisable version of a particular kit. Um, essentially, it's a generic kit. There is no sponsorship logos, but there are a few exceptions to that. So during this blog, I'm basically just going to go through each team, show the kit, and explain basically what the changes are. Um, before I do so, just my own personal take on the classic kit is I think it's a very strong move forward. As somebody who collects every single individual figure that Soccer Stars produce, it can be a little bit tedious uh, basically buying the same figure season to season out in a new home kit, which basically doesn't change that much from the previous version. Best examples, things like Phil Jagiel, Everton. The kit's essentially the same, same for my normal for West Ham. It's just a constant uh, tirade of repaints, and any collector who does the same as me, I'm sure feels exactly the same. You know, I mean, no, no one bores you to buy anything, you buy a if you will, but you do feel obligated to obviously buy these continuous repaints, and there's just not the demand for it. Uh, obviously, there are quite a few teams that basically will still be getting home kit repaints season after season. Um, it's no preferential treatment, it's basically down to sales, and obviously you can't really compare it with the greatest respect uh, teams like Manchester United uh, as popularity, global popularity um, to a team like Swansea for example um, just in terms of merchandising for much more advanced far bigger team they're going to shift far more volume and obviously soccer stars have got minimum order values to meet and if clubs aren't going to commit to that then again this is a good move forward and it will speed up production as well because you're not having to produce 15, 18 teams in home kits again just half of that. So basically, it's going to kit themselves. They start with Arsenal. Uh, they have got a 2016-17 kit. As you can see there, it does feature the um, stripe down the middle of it. Again, slightly more accentuated than the actual kit itself, but this is just basically down to um, Sarkis so trying to enhance um, the kit so it does actually look different. There we go, so I focus on that. So that's it. So that's actually a 2016-17 kit for Arsenal. That was Granit Xhaka, who's had an okay impact so far. Uh, Chelsea, right, this is an interesting one. There's N'Golo Kante for Chelsea, someone signing from Leicester. Um, this is actually not changed from the 15-16 kit, it's exactly the same. Um, however, on the website, I will refer to the figures as in 2016-17 kit, reason being the players um, Kante, Batshuayi and David Luiz obviously were not there for 2015-16 season. For me to put on the website would seem a little bit strange. Uh, so the kit is exactly the same as it was last season. It's not been updated. The kit in reality has changed, but it's such a slight change. There's no real need to do it. I think had Chelsea requested it, Soccer Stars would have filled it, but essentially there's no need to do that. Um, while I'm on subject to Chelsea, uh, there are 30 figures this season which feature mini Totsons cards inside the listers. Um, Chelsea have three, uh, which are Pedro, William and Diego Costa. Have I got that right? Yeah, I'm sure I have. Yeah, I have. Uh, so basically, the uh, the figures of William and Diego Costa do not vary at all. The figure is exactly the same. However, the mini top trunks card has been updated. Uh, the best way to identify which version is which, 15-16 uh, has five stats on the card. 16-17 has four. Um, I would advise any collector who wants to obviously get that precise card probably to contact Richard at Corinthian Seller. I doubt any other seller uh, out there would actually notice a difference or indeed list it differently. So Richard really is your best guy um, to contact there. That's CorinthianSeller.co.uk. He'll be able to fulfill uh, the exact one you want. On the subject of Pedro, obviously last season he was releasing Blister, not with a card. So you've got no issues there uh, this season. But again, I will probably contact Richard at Corinthian Seller just to uh, ensure you get the version with the card, not the version with the leaflet. Um, however, his number hasn't been updated. Uh, he changed from 17 to 11 this season, but the figure is still wearing number 17. I do think that will change once the current stock runs out. That same process applies to a few players, things like Alexis Sanchez. Sanchez sorry. Uh, Solomon Rondon for West Ham was 33, is now 9. Um, those changes will probably happen, but it will be based on the current stock uh, has run out. Um, there's a few more players for Manchester now, which I'll come on to uh, very shortly about that as well. So that covers Chelsea kit, it's exactly the same. 16 17 kit, I'm classing it, but it looks the same as last season. Uh, Crystal Pass, the first uh, classic kit. Let's go to as you can see there, that's probably what you classify as the most recognisable Crystal Palace kit. The uh, horizontal claret and red, uh, claret blue stripe, sorry. That's Jason Punch in there. 
So that's a classic kit. As you can see there, there are no sponsorship logos uh, on the kit. It's basically clean. And that's the kit that they will be using for all future Crystal Palace Soccer Stars releases. However, again, I do stress that that's subject to change. This is what I've been told. But again, you could get to next season and it could change. They could release it with sponsorship badge on. Uh, who knows? While I remember, goalkeeper kits. Uh, on my website, I am actually classing each goalkeeper kit as 16-17 kit, regardless of whether the team is classic kit or 16-17. reason for this being is there's been no official decision as to whether the keeper kits will be kept as a classic kit. I think, again, it all depends on the, uh, on the club, what they dictate. Uh, the kits for goalkeepers do change quite rapidly uh, from season to season, and they do sell really well. Uh, so my personal feelings are that the keeper's kits will probably change um, but again, for now it's hard to say. Some website I'm listing more 16, 17, and I'll keep you updated as and when I know more. Uh, next classic kit we move on to is uh, Everton. Like I say, classic kit there, just very generic, navy blue with a slight white trim. If you can see that on there, white shorts. Very subtle. Now the next one uh, is where the ambiguity begins. It's Leicester City, um, but this is actually their classic kit. There's Shinji Okazaki, which is actually one of my favourite sculpt soccer sides I've ever done. Um, so as you can see there, it's a classic kit, but it does feature the um, King Power sponsorship logo on the front. Um, and that is also the same kit that they used for the Leicester City 15-16 Premier League winners pack, which cost people on a blue base. Um, again, this is actually classed as Leicester City's classic kit, however it does feature sponsorship logos on. Hence the ambiguity to our people wondering which kit's which. Um, Effectively, this is a kit that Leicester will be going with and moving forward with, so there's basically the sponsorship is not going to change. It's certainly not in the foreseeable future anyway. So that's why their kit is classic, classic kit, but does have the sponsorship logo on. Next to one of the teams, basically, 16-17 kit, there's Liverpool. There's a yellow trim, there's Sadio Mane. There's quite a cool haircut there. Uh, Manchester City, again, a team which features a brand new 16-17 kit. And the same is for uh, Manchester United. Again, it's a 16-17 kit. Chevrolet sponsorship on. That's, of course, Paul Pogba. £100 million signing. So, of 16-17 kits. Again, just vastly more popular in terms of sales uh, globally. Hence why they do get the repaints. Uh, we've then got another classic kit, which is Stoke. And in all fairness, Stoke have been a classic kit uh, since they joined the Soccer Stars range. That's uh, Shared and Shakiri. Um does vary slightly from the previous editions, but this is what they're referring to as a classic kit for Stoke City. And their Sunland's goal machine, Jermaine Defoe. Again, Sunland are classified as a classic kit. There we go. And as a Newcastle fan, I'm not going to hold that for much longer. Uh, we then got Swansea again. Classic kit, very stripped back. Just classic white shirt, shorts and socks. Classic kit. Um, Spurs now. Very much like Leicester, uh, they're a classic kit, however, they do feature the sponsorship on the front, which is AIA. There's Harry Kane. So this is what uh, Stocker Stars are going as the Tottenham Hotspur classic kit. Basically, the sponsorship should be kept the same for, well, for quite a few seasons, so they don't expect it to, uh, to change. However, again, this could all change next season. These things will happen. Um, West Brom, there's Solomon Rondon in the classic West Brom Albion kit. Again, we're number 33. Uh, this will be updated, it will change once the current stock runs down, it'll be updated to number 9. And here's an interesting one, we'll come to West Ham now, they are actually a classic kit. Uh, however, there are actually two versions of um, West Ham figures this season. One version has the old badge, one version has the new badge. Um, hopefully this is going to focus in on it for you. Come on, you little beaut. Alright, it says Mark Noble, that's the old badge version, and then you've got the new badge version. As well, best way to tell uh, effectively is on the shorts. The new version has like a red. Um, reason for this is obviously soccer stars were producing the, the figures in the classic kit. However, West Ham moved to new stadium, new club shop, etc. Et so they wanted to have uh, the entire club shot with only new badge stock. So soccer stars had to update a lot of it. Um, and the players that feature in both kits, obviously, you can find on the website. Uh, so the collection now we've got Adrian, Winston Reed, Mark Noble, um, Jet Curiate, Paye, Valencia, Saka, and Andy Carroll. Uh, they are basically all got two versions Cresswell, Jenkinson, and Ayu, 
and Manico Antonio are only done uh, in new badge. Uh, the Kuyate old badge though is only in the elite foil bag. It's not done as blister apparently. So that's hope that's clear that up. Again, as ever, any questions feel free to contact me via obviously my YouTube channel here or on Facebook or via my website. Uh, Celtic again very much like Stoke from the start. They've always their classic kits. So there's nothing new there. That's your Celtic classic kit. First go Madrid. That's their classic kit. Effectively exactly the same as it was last season, but basically like sponsorship on this sound, I guess. Quite a cool new figure. Barcelona. Uh, now they will have, um, this is actually their 16 17 kit. They will have a new kit uh, each season. However, this, this one hasn't got the sponsorship badge on. That's the move that uh, was asked for with Barcelona. And that was a new sculpture Messi. This is a new sculpture Gareth Bale for Real Madrid. And again, they've got, uh, they are 16 17 kit. He says that when it actually wants to focus in, playing up. There we go. It's got a navy trim. So again, due to obviously the mass amounts they sell, they will get new home kit repeat season after season. A Paris Saint Germain, the sixteen seventeen kit, which is exactly the same as last season, the fifteen sixteen. However, they are not being called a classic kit. It's just this kit hasn't changed significantly enough for them to update it. But for next season, PSG had sort of navy and red, however, not stripes. I'm sure Socrates will change it to that. There's no plans to do them as a classic kit as of yet. Uh, then finally we've got Borussia Dortmund, who are updating to 16-17 kit. So again, that basically covers um, each team's classic kit. I uh, hope that's made sense. Again, as I say, any questions, um, just deal my them through to me or contact me via my YouTube channel there. Um, so just basically summarise up the classic kits, I do feel, I mean it has divided opinion, some collectors like it, some don't, I think if you collect a specific team, let's say you just collect Everton, you probably are a little bit disappointed that each season you're probably only going to get a handful um, of new figures, however for somebody who collects every single figure, it's, it's a huge relief not having to buy probably 100 figures in the effect of the same kit season after season, and before I forget, um, a recent addition to Soccer Size 2016-17 collection is Newcastle United and they will be actually done in a classic kit which again straight back classic black and white shirt no logo on. Uh, the eight players they are doing are um, Rafa Benitez which of course new sculpt as are Alexander Mitrovic, um, Dwight Gale and Matt Ritchie and joining those are uh, John Joe Shelby, Kieran Clark, uh, Mohamed Diami and Jack Colback. So Jack Colback was just before uh, three New repaints of uh, Shelby, Diamond, uh, Clark, and then of course four brand new sculpts: Benitez, Ritchie, Dwight Gale, and Mitrovic. As a team fan, it's great to have collection. And although they are a Championship club, probably not for very much longer. It is uh, it's good to see them back in the Soccer Stars range. I think that basically wraps everything up for this uh, blog. Basically, I hope everyone has a great Christmas and uh, all the best to your New Year. Happy collecting!